Hello everyone, it's uh, Father Mark. It's good to see you again. It's been a few weeks since I sent out my last video, so I thought I would do one more again and do several throughout the summer. I'm going to be talking about Rejoice and Be Glad, our Holy Father, Pope Francis's new apostolic exhortation. Uh, it's a wonderful book, a wonderful read. I encourage everyone to pick up a copy or go to the website, Vatican website, and you can download it and read it in English uh, but it is a time to rejoice and be glad. Uh, Pentecost is here this weekend, and the summer is right around the corner. But I want to talk to you about rejoice and be glad, because in the pre first chapter of the book, uh, the exhortation, our Holy Father Francis reminds us that we are called to holiness, that holiness is what God desires of us in our lives. And I'm always reminded that in the great Second Vatican Council, uh, that primary vocation of a Christian, the call to holiness, is at the very center of what Jesus desires us to be, how Jesus desires us to be. And in the opening chapters, opening paragraphs of this, uh, of this wonderful exhortation, Francis, Pope Francis reminds us that holiness is the most attractive face of the church. I want to say that again. Holiness is the most attractive face of the church. When we are holy, people see the goodness, the blessing, the joy, the compassion, the mercy, the attractiveness, so to speak, of the Christian life. And it is that call to holiness where we enter into those relationships of love, those relationships of blessing, those relationships of peace. And, and it is in those relationships that we are sustained and grow, where friendship makes discipleship possible, where it makes discipleship beautiful. Because it is only in relationships with one another, only in relationship with God, where Jesus says, I no longer call you servants, I call you my friends. And if we call others our friends, and not only call, but live that friendship, then the beauty of our Christian vocation shines forth. And we can use examples all over the place, but I think one of the greatest examples, of course, is the example of a mother and a child. That example of Mary, especially in the month of May, and the baby Jesus, where we see the joy and the love, the rejoicing of the mother looking upon her child. We see that also in the relationship of husband and wife, where the beauty of the couple the beauty of the couple shines forth in the love they have for each other and the friendship, that bond of friendship that helps them to grow. And of course, that friendship, when it becomes a community of faith, when we know the person sitting beside us in the pew, when we share our stories with one another, helps us to grow in holiness, to be the most attractive face of our church. And Francis Pope Francis reminds us throughout the chapter that often these things are done with small gestures. They aren't, they aren't necessarily the big, giant things that happen, but rather they are those small acts of courtesy, those small acts of care, those small acts of kindness that are most grateful to the other, that build the joy of the other. And it is done through the genius of who we are. The men do it one way, women do it the other way, but we do it when we do it together, when we do it as a community, we build up the body of Christ, the holy face of the church. And so, as we enter into this Pentecost, the birthday of the church, happy birthday Catholic Church, we remind ourselves that we are called to be beautiful, that we are called to be attractive in the love of God. That when others see that, we live that life that St. Paul reminds us of, that we are attracting others to Christ through the beauty of our own lives. And so I wish you a very blessed and holy Pentecost. And as we go through, rejoice and be glad. I look forward to talking to you more about holiness, about rejoicing, and about the love of God in our lives. God bless you all.